Divine, we are going to be doing a test today. Something I've had in my head for a few, let's say a few weeks. Um, I'm absolutely not 100% sure it's actually going to work. It could be a complete failure. That's what I'm anticipating. Mainly because I'm using a silicon mold rather than, say, a stainless steel or a, um, a firm type mold. It's very flimsy. So I don't anticipate this is going to work. And if not, we're going to have a heap of bath bomb dust, and that's fine because that sells anyway. So my plan is a bath bomb cake with a bubble frosting. So I've got my bubble frosting partly mixed. Just cut that off. Oh, I don't want to come out. So I've got sort of the dry part of my bath bomb frosting mixed. All that's waiting is a bit more oil. And then that will be ready to go as well. My dry mix for my bath bomb base of the cake is my standard bath bomb mix. So my Epsom salt, my SLSA, my bicarb and my citric acid. And then I have my wet mix here, which is my apricot kernel oil, my polysorbate, my fragrance, alcohol. And I think that's it in there. Now my colors, I'm going to start this off as white. What I'm going to do is mix each color in the same bowl and then sort of just like layer it up, throw a few embeds in here and there. It's going to be just like, mm, we're just going to sort of play it by ear. We're going to wing it because generally when I wing it, things sort of work out better, as you would probably know if you've watched my channel. I'm just going to put some baby paper down for when I flip. This is the part I haven't figured out yet is how I'm going to get this cake out of the mold. I'm going to slice it first and get it out, but I'm thinking the easier way might be to make it as a whole, then flip it out, then try and cut it. But I don't know. This is why I don't know if it's going to work. So we're just going to test. All right, we're going to get into it. So um, we're going to add, probably don't want that either. <clears throat> so we're going to mix this up and we're going to add, oops, this to our powders and get this all mixed through a bit at a time, holding a bit back so that if I need more later, I'll have it there. So let's set that aside, get this mixed in. So as I said, this is just a standard bath bomb base that I make all the time. Nothing special. <coughs> Sorry, I should have my mask on. Don't do what I do. I don't sort of want the colors as, yeah. And I'm going to try and keep these embeds sort of in the middle of where I've got my lines marked on this. I don't know if you can see I've got lines marked on my tray. So then I'm not cutting through embeds when I have to cut something. Squish the edges in, and then I, a little bit of the blue should fall down the middles as well. Alright, so we're just gonna scatter the blue in. Keeping in mind, this is now going to be our bottom. So, if 
clothing is not my main concern. Thinking what I might do is actually leave this in the mold, cut it while it's in the mold, but leave it in here and let it set for a day. It's holding together. I think I'll let it dry for like an hour and see if I can tip it out. This is really, I guess, just like cutting sort of really big embeds. And the advantage, I guess, of putting frosting on the top is if there's any like not pretty things. Like that turned out alright, that's okay. That's not terrible. I don't want to lift it up in case I crack it, but. Alright, so I'm gonna let that sit, and while that's sitting, I'm gonna do my frosting. Okay, so we're back. As you can see, we've done a bit more on the top. One second. So, this bubble frosting recipe did not work the way I wanted it to, and it's sort of not how I wanted it to go, but it's rock solid, and I think it's stuck on there pretty well, so... I can't complain too much, I guess. This was Ren's bubble frosting. Um, I've tried a few different bubble frostings. I'm still yet to find one I like. Um, some just don't get hard. Maybe it's the where we are situated um, geography-wise. But um, I'm still yet to find one I'm like really in love with. I do like the fact that this one does get hard really quick and it seems to bond well. And I did a cupcake with it. But I don't know if you can see, maybe if I bring the light this way. <clears throat> Where am I? If I hold it still long enough. Oh, it doesn't want to do it. Alright. So you can still see that sort of feathering edge. I'm not a fan of the feathering edge. It looks like it's too dry. Now I added double the amount of cocoa butter to this because it would not go like fondant. It just wanted to stay like a bubble bar. I couldn't get it to... And I watched the video. I read the recipes. I watched the videos. I followed it to a T. And I did it as best as you can when you're using volume measurements rather than actual weights. So it hasn't turned out badly. And as I said... It's dried really, really hard, really, really quickly. So I've done the best I can with it. But it's just not what I envisioned. Now, to assist the envisionment, I have made um, a gold cocoa butter drizzle. I'm not sure if it's quite thick enough yet, but I'm going to give it like a little test go and we'll see. Uh, it's still sinking in a bit too much. Alright, it's getting better. Alright. So I'm just gonna... Didn't want to do that. I just wanted to drizzle it. <clears throat> I mean that just to sort of helps you know, really help that stick on. Well, heavy handed.
So that probably just looks like I've ruined it. It'll look better when they're apart, I'm sure. It needs a bit more. And there's our little cupcake. And then of course, um, that one there. So I'm gonna leave that there. Let it harden up a bit more. And um, I will take a picture and show you when they are out of their molds. So I'll bring you back shortly. Okay, so as you can see, I've taken the sides down. I'm going to stupidly now attempt to try and cut this and take a slice out just to show you the inside. <sighs> My impatience is just too strong and I should be leaving this to wait. But of course, I'm like a newbie when it comes to this sort of thing. If I try something new, I just like, I want to see how it works. And that's usually when I screw things up. But, We'll see how we go. It's already pre-cut, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue to get a single slice out, you would think. Apparently, I'm wrong. Just not the corner. This is too soft to cut. I'm gonna lose the tip, I think. Maybe not. Okay. So there you go, there's my bath bomb cake with a bubble frosting. Frosting? And oh, no, I just lost a bit. I need to let it dry out. And I can see a crack happening. But I'm gonna let the rest dry out now that I've shown you what it looks like. So thank you for watching, let me know what you thought and uh, let me know if you want to see a test of this in the water. Don't forget to subscribe, bye!